microphone working? Yes, it is. Okay. Right, we are streaming. We are live. Wonderful. Okie doke. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome. You're quite quick. Hey, Jeffrey, that was quick. Wow, Vino as well. Very quick, guys. What's going on is we are building a mouse, my friends. We're going to build something. I feel like it. You see, Tate ran into our tanks last turn and didn't go very well for him. So he's undoubtedly going to build a counter for that. So what I'm going to do is build a counter to his counter before he's even built it. That is the key to victory, my friends. Here we go. I do want to build a mouse panzer because nobody but the Germans was really crazy enough to attempt building a super heavy tank in World War II, so that's what we're going to do. Don't worry, it will have treads. Alright. So, you guys can have an insight to how we build our tanks as well. I can't use that one. So, the root part of our tanks are structural pieces, because we made them indestructible to BD weaponry. Alright? Which means that since everything is connected to the root part, it means it can be blown off and the heat from the root part won't damage the central part and the whole tank won't explode just because you shot it once with a 50 cal. What you do is you attach the crew modules onto this. Uh, so you have to actually get through the armor in order to hit the uh, the crew modules and all the stuff inside. Uh, and blowing off one piece of armor won't blow off all the other pieces of armor. Okay, So it's much more realistic armor system. And that's how we do that. You need to build a Katusha. We don't really have anything to build a Katusha. We have air launched rockets, but honestly, like we don't use artillery in Fall of Carbon, so we're not going to build a Katusha. Although that would be pretty freaking awesome. All right, let's uh, let's get the turret out, shall we? Did I? I still haven't sorted all the turrets. I really need to get back to doing that. When we up to the 1.2.2, I didn't. Um, sort all my parts again. Sorting them really did make it easier. I had the naval stuff, I had the air stuff, I had the ground stuff. Um, with how many new weapons we have. We should really get rid of all these stock weapons. We don't even use them. Um, but I can find it, I'm sure. Here we go. Look at that. 128mm gun. Oh dear. <laughs> if you're in front of this, good luck. Five rounds a minute. Beautiful. Do we have to build a tank around uh, around this this turret? Challenge accepted. So let's get this right in the middle first. Uh, there we are. Okay, so let's build a tank around this big bad boy. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, I'm going to get up some blueprints of it. Mouse blueprints. They only ever built two prototypes, didn't they? So, blueprints aren't going to be too easy to find. Oh, no, there we go. I found a good picture. Okay. So, the turret's actually at the back of the tank. Uh, the tank doesn't get much wider. It's actually quite an easy design to build. It's completely, completely flat sides, so... Really? This shouldn't take too long to build, but yeah, the turret is actually at the back of the tank. So, it does look like a naval gun, to be fair. Uh, yeah, let's get out a naval gun and compare, shall we? This is a naval gun <laughs> of a smaller caliber. What caliber is this? This is 138. Wait, this is a larger caliber. Uh, this is a very slightly larger caliber, but that's just got a larger, longer barrel. Yeah. Damn. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's get something that's actually a similar size, a similar naval gun. <laughs> Yamato guns, no. Uh, let's get something that's about... There we go, these 130 mils should be about the same size-ish. We can get them lined up. 
They don't look it, does it? But oh, it's just the bit in the middle is actually the same diameter. This is a very thick barrel. Very accurate gun. Right. People are saying build the ratter and just... No, and I've got to make a goldfish is here. Right. <laughs> so. Let's start building this thing. So we can use super heavy armor panels now. So you see we've got the descriptions of each of them. This is our mod pack. Uh, light armor panel might stop a 50 cal if you're lucky. Uh, it will stop 37mm round on its tracks. That's medium. Heavy can only be pierced by high velocity weaponry. Super heavy will stop just about anything. Except 128mm. People are saying the scale of the turret is off. I don't think so. Uh, maybe the scale's slightly off, but it's about right. And I'm just going to deal with it as it is. So, most of the tanks can be built out of heavy armor panels. Uh, so we are going to get those on. And it doesn't make... Is that as big as it goes? Oh my god. <laughs> it's as big as the uh, panels go. Ah, there's a slight problem. Right, we'll put it to about 220 and we'll have two of them. That's not going to be large enough. Let's try 300. That'll do. Yeah, that'll be fine. Right. So we attach everything to the root piece, and the root piece is indestructible. That means that destroying a piece of armor... Will not destroy the rest of the tank, which is the. Uh, it's not just some, the building system I'm using, it's also the building system that Tape's using it. We just both decided to use it because, well, it just makes things, uh, you know, fairer. And it makes it a lot more sense, it makes the battles a lot more. I don't want to say realistic, but it makes the damage model more, more realistic anyway. Yeah, they don't need to be this big. Uh, they can be about 260. Two right. Anyway. Some of you might be right. Build a King Tiger. Tape already built a King Tiger. So, I put pay to that plan. What mod do you use? <laughs> mod. Singular. Uh, there are a lot of mods. Check the descriptions of any Fall of Kerbin video. Apart from tapes, then check tapes. He doesn't put the mods in the description for some reason. But check any of mine. And you'll see the full mod list. It is very extensive. We've got the mod pack as well. Which has now got all of our craft in it. So you can play around with all those, which I was uh, quite happy to do. Right, and there we have it. Let's start building this bugger. I do actually want to turn these around. There we go. The lighting's a bit weird on these structural panels, so it's good to have them a certain way around. People saying Germany's working on a man V2. It was. That is true. Germany is working on suicide weapons, but Hitler actually stopped them. One of the few good things Hitler actually did was stop, because uh, after seeing, you know, the Japanese go ballistic on their suicide weapons, um, not literally ballistic, the Germans did that, but uh, yeah, there was actually interest in developing suicide weapons for Germany, but Hitler decided no, we're not quite that desperate, we're not going to do it, so thank god they didn't, would have been a pointless waste of life. Much like kamikazes were. People say that kamikazes were successful. They weren't. They were not. Kamikazes did very little. Pointless, pointless waste of life. Anyway, we've got a heavy tank, a heavy arm panels. That's a big sort of vulnerability to bombs. So we're going to make sure we sort of may try and maintain um, air superiority. People are saying make a V2. I already did. <laughs> Here it is. I made a V2. We'll leave it there, shall we? I used it in my turn. I finished my turn just in the middle of editing it. And I was losing the will to live. Because I'm quite tired at the moment. Uh, I only got back from my music tour uh, the other day. So I was in Lisbon. It was quite nice. Very nice. Lots of lovely people. Lisbon's a lovely place. Um, felt bad for nuking them in Hearts of Iron 4. But yeah, I mean, it did leave me quite tired. And I want to say jet lagged, but the time zone is exactly the same in Lisbon as it is in England, so I can't really claim that I was jet lagged. But uh, most of the concerts ended about 
Uh, we only got back to the hotel usually about two in the morning most nights, and we were up at seven forty-five latest for breakfast because the hotel only served breakfast for so long. So yeah, I'm quite tired. A lot of people are getting timed out. Don't be spamming, guys. Oh yeah, that's another that's another point. Uh, yeah, if you do want to. Um, you know, see what I'm doing, then uh, don't be afraid to go check my Twitter. Shameless plug, I know, but uh, my Twitter has always got my um, my current creation on it. So yeah, I did put the V2 on there earlier, so if you are interested in that, then do not be afraid to go check it out. And follow me. I don't, I don't want to promote it in videos, because I don't really care about Twitter all that much, but I, you know, some people, some people enjoy seeing what I'm working on, so I'm perfectly happy to uh, let them see. Right, let's have a look at the angle of this front plate. Alrighty, Roo. Is that about right? That looks about right. I'm looking at the angle on the on the front plate. It's not that angled, actually. That is about right. Yeah, we'll go with that. Cool beans. Just me, or does the video look bad at 720p? It should look bad. Yeah, that's to make the stream a tolerable um, speed. I might have put it too low. I'm still experimenting with it, really. Think about OBS, it's a wonderful free software, but you do need to do a lot of experimenting to um, actually get anything to work with it. There you go, super heavy armor panels. Beautiful. This is going to be weak to air attack, so let's make sure we maintain that air superiority. Those things can get a little awkward. Right, that's actually about the right length as well for the front of it. Actually, I don't think that's not quite sloped enough. It needs to be sloped a little more than that. More like that. Yeah, that's better. Anyway, what have you guys been up to? Recently, I've started watching the uh, the Peep Show. As you know, I'm British, so I find it's sort of a responsibility to watch British shows. And uh, someone recommended it to me, so I've just been sort of binge watching it. It's uh, <laughs> pretty funny. I am enjoying it, actually. People saying it isn't a... That's not a mouse turret. Yes, it is. That's not a mouse turret. Oh my god, why does that make a goldfish timing everyone out? And make a goldfish, can you stop abusing your power? I'm just looking at the chat now, making sure that Omega Goldfish isn't being a dick. That's a lot of people being timed out, actually, to be fair. Um, sorry, Omega, but you're not going to be a mod, a mod anymore because you seem to be abusing your power. It only has one gun, that's why. Where is the second gun on the mouse? Oh, it's like the coaxial one, isn't there? Yeah. Were they spammers? Are you sure? I don't think they were spammers. I saw some perfectly valid comments there and you just banned them, so... I'm going to... Yeah, no. I don't know why I made you a mod in the first place. <laughs> no massive offence intended, but... Well... Yeah. Let me, um... Have a look at the mouse... Diagnostics a bit more, not that, blueprints a bit more. God, it's an ugly tank, isn't it? Are you sure they're spammers? I don't think they were. I'm looking at pictures of mouses. Mice? Do you say mice? I don't think you say mice. I think mouses would be the right word. What does mouse even mean in German? Does it actually mean mouse? Like, were they just being sarcastic? A bit of German humour. 
If you're saying this, yeah, coaxial 75 mil. We're not using a coaxial 75 mil because that costs too many points. Um, too much to build. Don't want to over-engineer this too much. You know, don't want to be full Germans. I'm trying to see like what the configuration of the front armor is. It's quite difficult to to find. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the tracks are pretty colossal. So we should probably get the tracks on first, or build it around them. That's what I'm thinking. I don't make people mods just because they are, just because they ask. I make people mods when they're they're actually. Regular viewers that I like. Uh, right, let's find a, an appropriate track for this. Um, that looks about right. Yeah! The problem with the Kerbal Foundry's tracks is that never long enough. And I don't like using multiple. So that means I always pretty much have to use this one. Which is very annoying. Uh, I don't want it to be that big. How's that? That's about right, actually. We'll go for that. Let's tweak it. Do, do, do. Oh, those of you who want like spoilers for the next episode of Fall of Kerbin, you're not getting them. Just saying now. Before you ask. No spoilers for you. No, that could be a bit bigger, I think. Just a little bit. There we go. That should be all right. But yeah, it's the only track that's actually long enough for for a tank, like a tank tank. Um, it's very annoying. Go Foundry's probably want to get on that. Uh, it's not quite that high up, is it? No. Or is it? Those tracks don't look right. Hmm. I don't know. You guys tell me whether that looks right or not. I don't think it looks right, but yeah. Oh, come up with a name for it as well. I mean, it's going to be designation. Going to be PT. Uh... Wait, how do I name my other tanks? It'll be PT seven, I assume. But do I put PT dash seven? I just need to check. I'm not very consistent with myself yet. PT seven. It's just a super heavy tank. Should we name it after someone else? Actually, let's name it after Lance Fox, because LF7. Boom! I mean, he's come up with like a name for it. Uh, a snake-related thing. We've already used Boa, so... Um, tank looks way too narrow. Does a bit, isn't it? But that's... Hmm. That's kind of the turret's fault. Isn't it? The turret might, should be really be a bit... Maybe it's a bit too long. I think it is a bit too long. Let me have a look at some pictures of it. The barrel. Let me let me look at it. Yeah, it's too long. I think. The barrel should go over the end, and for us, it barely does. So, let's bring these in a little bit. Is it like there? How's that? Maybe a bit more. Right, let's try that. Uh, that's starting to look a bit better, I think. Make these tracks a little smaller again. There we are. Wonderful. Yeah. <coughs> right. Cobra. We already named our medium tank the Cobra. Already named a tank the Mamba. Already named a tank the Boa. Vanguard. Is that the name of the tank? No, uh, Snake, sorry. Snack. Just name it Snack. Already already used Adder. Adder is the name of our panther. Garden Snake. Yes. The LF7 Garden Snake. Perhaps not. 
Um, anaconda. Done. That anaconda don't. Boom. <laughs> don't know why I didn't think of that. All right, perfect. Let's go back to putting the armor on. Super heavy armor panel. Perfect. That's about right. Needs to be at a different angle, but that's about the right size. Perfect. Does it need to be a different angle? I say that's about about correct. No, maybe a bit, a bit more like that. Yeah, we'll go with that. I think we don't want to shrink uh, super heavy armor panels. If you shrink armor panels, it makes them weaker. Reduces their um, reduces their impact tolerance and their maximum heat, and that's bad. So yeah, we want to really not be doing that. Tape that's the problem. Tape had actually he built his uh, tanks out of a lot of small pieces, which is why in his testing video they didn't hold up so well. So I told him to fix that. Uh, I've still got this V2 just sitting here. We use it on uh, Rockdale actually. <laughs> it was good fun. Right. Then, uh, yeah, so we've got super heavy panels on the front. That's fine, actually. Yeah, that's good. It's a bit tall, maybe, but we can always fix that. Let's do the sides. So, yeah, this is going to be an expensive tank to build. But the thing is, we already ha we have a lot of tanks, to be fair, now. We have a massive superiority over tape in terms of tanks. Tape in terms of tanks. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, but yeah. So quite the superiority over him now. He used to have a massive um, advantage in numbers. But then he thought, oh, numbers, that'll be fine. You know, you don't actually need good tanks to win a war. Right? Wrong. <laughs> very, very wrong. Turns out. So he's a bit stuffed. I actually thought he would win that tank battle. I was not remotely optimistic for it. And then we just utterly annihilated him. He should have waited and let us attack him. Not that I'm complaining. I'm perfectly happy that he attacked us. Because <laughs> it, uh... Yeah. I want to have some large armor panels on the sides because, um... The larger they are more damage they can take and this thing's weakness is going to be flanking you know, smaller tanks flanking it and shooting it in the side so um... so yeah so we want to have quite large heavy armor panels <clears throat> I think that would be large enough. Yeah, that will be fine. So yeah, as I said, scaling them up makes them tougher, so... Hopefully we won't be so vulnerable to any flanking fire. Lots of people getting timed out. Behave, people, behave. We're doing. Alrighty, what a tape builds a super heavy tank to protect his last marine. That's what I think he's going to do. Which is why we're building this. As I said, he's going to build a tank to counter my medium and heavy tanks and my cruiser tanks. So we're building a tank to counter that tank before that tank even arrives on the battlefield. Like in World War II, the US had a very reactionary doctrine when it came to uh, new weapons. They saved a lot of money, but they waited until they needed a weapon before they even started developing it. Uh, which is why you had, you know, no real suitable uh, thing to go up against German heavy tanks. Apart, they just had to use the Sherman. Because they had nothing better, because they hadn't started building anything earlier. Whereas we Brits had our 
17 pounder, which would go straight through the front, straight out of the back of a tiger. Um, the US had no such gun. We're not doing that. We're not going to do a US and uh, wait for tape to build a tank that just massacres all our tanks before we start building a counter to it. I'm just anticipating it's going to be doing it, so we are going to start building that tank now. It's already looking alright, taking shape. Yeah. This is a tolerable looking tank. I mean, the mouse isn't a particularly pretty tank anyway, I don't, don't really like it. Quite ugly. But, you know, fit for purpose, I guess. Well, I say fit for purpose, it never, never got used, did it? Oh. That lined up. There we go. Oh, it's too far in. <clears throat> right, there we go. Okay. That isn't looking half bad, to be fair. Firefly was named due to its bright muzzle flash. That's actually good to know. I did not know that. Thank you for that. Uh, I guess do the back of the tank now, can't we? Let's do the rest of the top of the tank first. Top of the to top of the top of the tank. Tongue twisters. I love them. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to bother putting armor underneath the turret because, um, well, like you know, all the way underneath the turret is just a waste of parts, really. Very little point. If the turret gets blown off, I think we've got <laughs> worse problems than the. Uh... Oh, don't want to do that. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. We've got worse problems than there being a giant hole in the tank. The fact that, you know, it has no gun. As I said, this is going to be vulnerable to enemy aircraft, so let's hope that we manage to gain air superiority. At the moment, it's a bit even. Uh, in terms of fighters, because tape's launching nothing but fighters. So, yeah. Please build a nuke. No. Build nine fist on the front as a battering ram. Yes. Definitely. What does the back of the mouse look like? I don't even know. Um. There we go. That looks pretty similar to the front, really. Just less angled. Yeah. <coughs> no, there are no nukes. Shut up. <laughs> no nuclear weapons. No super weapons like that. Uh, we do wonder weapons, but we're not doing nuclear weapons. Yeah, so I'm saying, that, you know, if you suddenly add nuclear weapons, it just ends the series immediately. What's the point in that? Very little point in that. It's like, you know, how are you going to have a massive tank? It takes a going to, you know, oh, what's that? There's a bunch of tanks lining up. Ready to invade Kofinia's heart, you know, have a massive epic tank battle. 30 minute long video? No, just nuke it. What would be the fun in that? It wouldn't be. There's a reason why, you know, the war ended after the US dropped the, the atom bomb. The end of the series, wouldn't it? Atomic warfare would last all of 30 seconds. Dun, 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 dun.
Can someone explain why a rocket is chilling out next to the tank? Uh, people kept asking me to build a V2, and I had to explain that I had already built a V2. And that is the V2 that I built. That's called the K2. K2 ballistic missile. And very effective it was too. <laughs> I feel very evil. I mean, I'm the good guy, I promise. Honest. I am. And there we are. We have the back of the mouse. Put this one on as well. That's not... There we are. <coughs> I'm dying. I apologise. Oh, don't want that one. There we go. Just lined up properly. And there we go. Back is done. Turret should move forward a bit. There we are. Looks a bit stubby now, isn't it? Hmm. The front isn't quite long enough. But the turret shouldn't hang out over the back. So. I'm thinking. Move these back forward. So about there. How's that look? Like a bit better? <coughs> Jesus. Mm, still not really long enough at the front, is it? Let's extend that a bit more. So about there. It's a quite a long front. And want a bit of the barrel sticking over the end. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Which means these need to be a little larger. Just a little. That might have been a bit too much. Yeah, that was too much. No, 3.25. 3.1? Is that good? Let's try that, shall we? That looks good to me. Then hopefully we can just increase the size of these a little bit and not have to put on an extra armor panel. 320, let's try that, 320. These are all the tricks of the business, you see. Cutting corners. Saves loads of time, it's great. That wasn't enough. Oh dear. <clears throat> bring the tracks down a bit. I don't want to bring the transit trucks down a bit though. It's about the right size. Hmm. Looks like you're going to need another armor panel. That's alright. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. Whoopsie. Crab up the holes. And... Why do people always like this? It's like you build, you start building. A Messerschmitt Schmidt 262. And people are like, Where are the 30mm cannons, Beardy? Before you've even put the nose on. Where are the jet engines? Build a Yamato. Where are the guns? Where's the where's the where's the bridge, Beardy? On the ship you haven't finished yet. Shut up. <laughs> it's not done. It's like it's like literally like spamming in the chat. Finish it. Finish it. Why isn't it finished yet? God. You're such an idiot, Beardy. Why isn't it finished? God, why are you so dumb? You haven't put the, all the finished stuff on it. It's almost like you haven't finished the tank. No, I haven't finished the tank. That's why it's a building stream. Not a testing stream.
Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I haven't made another meme, have I? Bet I have. Excuse my profanity as well. Do do do. That looks alright. And I also think it's funny he's building a German tank has a Soviet star in the hangar. Yeah, I mean, I'm not very good at being the Soviet analogue in this series, am I? <laughs> I guess it's a stock piece. Stock piece? Root piece. Righty Roo. That's going to look a little horrendous, but oh well. It's just not quite the right dimensions. There we go. That's all right, I think. There we go. Right. Now let's get a uh, piece of heavy armor covering up the gap. Ba -ba -ba -ba. T95 would be cool. Hmm. Would be. I was tempted to build an IS-2, but uh, decided against it. I thought it would be a bit too overpowered. I mean, I guess you could include it in the late World War II, but... It, wasn't, it was only really used in the final push for Berlin. Not so much for uh, anything else. Right, the, super he the heavy armor only needs to go just behind here, well just in this bit here. Uh, we use procedural wings for the rest of it. So actually it doesn't have to look that good. Here we go. We just cover up this gap and then we fill in the uh, the actual gap with um, procedural wings. So it looks better. But just so you know, we do actually have armor behind here. I'm going to entrust the safety of the tank to procedural bloody wings. Right, that's one, and then we just need to get another plate in here, and then that's that done. And then wunderbar! Okay, how's chat going? P music is somewhat soothing. Yeah, I turned the music off in previous streams. Well, I just had it off, because I, I always have it off when I'm recording, so I can put my own music in. Um, but I like the KSP music. Should leave it on for streams, really. I just kind of forget to turn it back on. Which is very silly of me, I know. Hmm, problem is it shows in the tracks. Actually, it's alright, isn't it? Because we're going to have procedural wings like right across here, so. Yeah, we can have procedural wing right up here. So actually, it doesn't matter at all if it's showing. So why am I being really weird about it? I don't even think I even need that part. Uh, I shouldn't have clicked that off. There we go. Yeah, procedural wings cover this up. So let's just do this. Doesn't matter. Just have to cover this bit, really. And perfect. Covered. And the tracks are pretty damn good at stopping projectiles as well, so... Really, nothing to worry about. Let's put that up to 140... 150? Yeah. 
Yep, so I have two drawing up there, and that will be fine. I'd look a bit silly if uh, the procedural wing gets blown off, which it inevitably will do, but that's all right. That look okay. And then we just need one over here. Oh, I even got it at the same angle the other way. That was a complete accident. Go me. All skill, no luck. Promise. That's nah, not quite the same. Can see fix that. There we go. Once again, foot in the bar. <clears throat> so we have no gaps in our armor anymore. We'll pretty it up with procedural wings in a bit. There we go. What do we think? You make a giant Nazi pretzel to strike fear into the enemy. I, I don't see how pretzels strike fear into people, but, you know, whoever floats your boat. Omega Goldfish appears to be being salty that I demoted him from mod. I shouldn't have made him mod in the first place because he's too much of a clown, really. I do love you, Omega Goldfish, but you just hit a bunch of random people for no real reason, so, you know. Jeffrey and Avino actually do their jobs and um, mute spammers and stuff. So, just... Uh, yeah. Shish. Uh, what we do need to do is cover the tracks a bit. I think. Let me have a look. Oh, there's a little bit that comes down in front of them, but nothing particularly important. There's a little tiny bit like here, but it doesn't make much of a difference. So just add parts to it, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, okay, so do we like the, uh, do we like the mouse? That didn't take that long to build at all, actually. How long's the stream been going? Oh, 45 minutes. Okay, so that took a decent amount of time. But, uh, not a huge amount. So that's nice. There we are. Okay, let's, uh, actually, it needs to be the length of this, doesn't it? So... That's all right. Needs to go to a point and needs to do that, I think. Yeah. I love using procedural wings to just fill in gaps, it's very convenient. Oop, don't do that. Alright. And that doesn't even look too horrendous. Okie dokie! That's all right, I guess. 
Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. It's fine. It covers up the most horrendous bits of the tank, so <clears throat> I think it sort of does its job in that respect. And then we just copy and we paste to the back of the tank. And there we go. And the wings stick out. The wings do not stick out. They just fill in the gaps. Perfect. We have the shell of the mouse. Job done. Right. Now we just have to do the internals. Uh, oh, we have to do the underneath as well. Silly me. Heavy armor panels. We actually only need like a single width here, I think. But it is helpful to have an underneath the tank in case it gets flipped. Oh no, we need to have significantly larger than that. Is 200 alright? Yeah, 200 is about perfect. Yeah, that'll do alright. As like I said, it's good to have uh, armor underneath. Uh, especially because tape likes using flak weapons. Um, well, he uses a lot of flak weaponry. He sort of has anti-tank guns because he doesn't have the supply units to even build anti-tank guns now. We do have anti-tank guns. Like we have, um, we got Lance to make us the... Let me find it. There you go, we've got the pack 40, and we've got the pack 36 as well. Purpose made anti-tank guns. For, uh, tape to use. Where's the pack 36? Can't see it, somewhere. Where is that pack? 32. 36, 36, 36. Did he put camo on it? I don't think he did. Let's try searching Fox. Oh. There we go. <coughs> oh, I didn't, must have not put the pack 36 in. We've only got pack 40 here. It's a bit odd. This one he made is pack 36. Packing heat. Nah. Killer Yamato. I love some of the descriptions Lance puts on these. Lance is such a nice guy, I love him. But yeah, Tate doesn't have the resources to build those, so he's using flak weapons which explode, uh, which is fine, uh, really, because they can't get through your armor most of the time. But if they end up going underneath your tank and then explode, because they fire very rapidly, and you don't have any armor on your tank, you're going to have a bit of a bad day, aren't you? So. There we go, that's a better view. I'm trying to find a place where we can actually see what we're doing. Flying tank will work in Kerbal Space Program because mods. Um, right. Okay. Thank you for your input. It's always appreciated. Oh, full of Kerbin continuing to the Cold War era. Now, I thought it would. I thought, oh, the rate things are going, you know. We'll easily get to the Korean War. No problemo. Thing is, then tape really started losing. 
very badly. Um, it's just sort of been a bit of a snowball into what it is now. Which is just him getting massacred. I thought that tank battle would turn things around a bit, but it just sort of didn't. Um, so yeah, I I don't think it will. Continue into the Cold War era, honestly. Yeah, perfect. So apologies about that. <clears throat> but yeah, this tank should be invincible, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's good to have an invincible tank, I think. Not on its own, and without air superiority. Without air superiority, this tank would be defenseless. Um, it's a big target, big bomb target. Although it could probably take quite a few bombs, no tank is indestructible. They'd probably drop a bloody tall boy on it, knowing him. Big enough target to hit with a tall boy, so that's a sad thing. I'm saying that, it's just so he's not going to have any supply units to build tall boys. Which would be quite funny. Yeah. I take a lot of pride in um, the fact that Tape is losing. Proves I'm the superior tactician. Although I think we might play Game of Heart to Vine 4 together at some point. That would be so much fun. I really want to do that. I think uh, I might go as Italy. Tape might go as Germany. Take over the world together. That would be good fun. Or I did that with some friends actually. Uh, except uh, well, I was Italy, one of my friends was Germany, and the other person was uh, fascist Britain. Which was a good laugh. We invaded the United States in uh, 1940. In a massive amphibious operation. Using the Royal Navy and the Italian Navy as cover. And uh, then we invaded the Soviets in 1942, I believe. And with the US industry behind us, we just steamrolled them. It was good fun. Place more bombs on the runways and have them blow up Tape's planes when they land. Yes, because Tape is just going to let me plant bombs on his runways, isn't he? No, he is. He really is. Promise. No, he's not. He's <laughs> just not, is he? Oh, that worked out perfectly. Look at that. That was not even remotely intentional, yet it just worked out. Well, there we go. The shell is completed. Uh, the lighting's a bit weird on the cam and the camo design, but uh, yeah. Right. Let's put some internals on this bad boy. Right. First things first. Um, crew cabin goes underneath the um, hmm. I'm thinking here. I want to attach it directly to onto that root part, but I attach the panel onto that. Which panel did I attach directly onto it? Actually, I can just get another one, can't I? What am I about? Like that. There we go. These are all indestructible pieces, so it's fine. 
We built the uh, inside of our tanks out of indestructible bits um, and then attach other stuff onto them. Makes it a bit more realistic so you don't get, you know, shooting the root part and the whole thing just unpeels like a banana. Nobody wants that. Wait, no, I want to attach them to this. Like that. There we are. And we'll set it upwards. Should we put it in the middle or right underneath the turret? Oh, I don't know. In the middle, then you put a shot like right through here. And you're going to hit something. But then again, I don't want to put two near the bottom. I'll put it in the center like that. Yeah, it's near the back. Underneath the turret, so it's protected from air attack quite well. I'm going to put it a bit forward, actually. Yeah, there. Right underneath the turret. So you can't really get it easily through the back or sides as well. So that's a good place to put it. There we go. Perfect. Um, I don't know whether I want to make the mistake of putting all my fuel in the front again. But then again, it's sort of another layer of armor. Putting the engines and stuff in the front. But then again, it makes your tank very easily immobilized, isn't it? I might just have a few rows of fuel, to be fair. Yeah, that'll work. Have a couple of rows of it. Yeah, that's all the problem. Problemo. So, just have like three rows of fuel. A, you'll never run out of fuel. B, you get extra armor. There isn't really a C, to be fair. Ah, whoa. Making quite a big fuel tank. Yes, yeah, have a bunch of them. Ha ha! Using fuel as armor. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. <laughs> a heck of a lot. Um, yeah, that's alright, I think. Get hit by flak and that's just going to go up. Let's get another one. Oh, don't want to do that. There we go. Let's do that. I see no problem with this. Two giant fuel tanks for armor. Yeah. Means one fuel tank even protects the other fuel tank. Whoa. We can never be immobilized. Unless they blow up both. <laughs> like who's going to blow up both? Ah. Uh, not Cathenia. They're too dumb. Right, perfect. <coughs> Let us get our fuel cells in here. We are going to need many a fuel cell. So power this because these are some big ass tracks. Oh, we can scale fuel cells. I didn't realize that. Though it's good to have a couple of rows of them. In case one set gets blown up. Put one set on top of the other set. How's that? That's fine, I think. Alright, that'll be our engines. Perfecto. Now we just need to put the ammunition in. Do I want to have a secondary weapon for this? Would it be worth the cost? I don't know. Uh, hmm. Let us let us consult the rules uh, very quickly. I can't remember the rules twenty four seven. I'm sorry. It's almost like I wrote them or something, but people expect me to actually remember them. Here we go. Rules and stuff. Turns twenty one to thirty. I just need to remember the armaments for tanks. Here we go. Ground armaments. 
So it's a super heavy hull. That is eight points. How many points do we get turning against? Twenty two, yeah, okay. So we got eight points for super heavy hull. This is a hundred and twenty eight millimeter anti tank gun that puts us up to sixteen points. That leaves us a whole six points left. Which is enough, actually, for a Yeah, it's enough for an addo, actually. I think. Is it enough for an adder? No, it's not. Not at all. It's enough for a, uh, a Ninia, though. A Ninia with a slight upgrade. Ninia with a 50 cal, I think. Yeah, put a 50 cal on a Ninia. Oh, this could have an extra point. This can have a 50 cal. Yeah. Oh no, it's a super heavy hull. So that means it can have a 20 mil with only one extra point. So we could build this, put a 20 mil on it, 20 mil anti-aircraft gun, and we can launch a Ninia with it. That's wonderful. It's medium hull, that's five, and this will be 70. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. So this with a 20 mil. I, know, I don't know if the mouse actually had a 20 mil. Maybe it did at the back. I don't know if it's a 20... Is this is where the, is this where the 20 mil had? Did it have a 20 mil? It had something on it. Something on the back. It had a coaxial 75 mil, which I'm not putting on it. But uh, I did have a... I'm fairly sure it had a 20 mil somewhere. Right. Perfect. That uses points. And we get, we get two tanks out of it as well. Two tanks a turn. So that's great. Let's stack up the cannon shells underneath. I see no problems with this whatsoever. Probably won't attach them to the root part, to be fair. This isn't actually the root part, it's one of the root parts. It's an indestructible part either way. Hopefully. Be awkward if the root part got destroyed, wouldn't it? Just be like, hey, what was that? Indestructible root part? Psych. For God's sake, how about some V2s? We've got a V2 sitting right here. Literally, we have a V2 sitting right there. And I already said it's in the latest episode. What more do you want? A V2, like every time someone says, Oi, can you build some V2s? Can you just literally link them to my Twitter page? Please. It's very vexing. How many cannon shells is this storing? 10, 10, 10, 10. We don't actually need to store that many on here because the rate of fire of this gun is so horrendous. So, honestly, it's five rounds a minute. Gotta last five minutes. You're only launching 25 shells. Why is this one suddenly higher than the others? I appreciate that. There we are. Right, let's save that. I guess I'll put some more in Oh god, I can't be asked to keep tweaking it from the root part. I'm just going to plonk it down. Not like the bottom of the tank's ever going to get blown out anyway. Just attach the ammo onto the other ammunition. Stacking ammunition. What could possibly go wrong? Alright. Boom. That should actually be enough ammo for this tank. I don't think we need much more. Okay, let's put a uh, 20mm on this thing. 
doop 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 where are me 20 mils at oh get a twin browning 50 cal wouldn't that be cool should we go for a twin 50 cal instead I think that looks cooler than the twin uh, Earl Lycan. Oh, do we go for the, the twin 50 cals or do we go for the twin 20 mils? Like, which looks cooler? Probably won't use either. I was saying a 20 mil could probably shred a light tank. Ah, I'll go for the 20 mil. Looks just as cool. It's fine. We'll put it in the turret. So it looks uh, about right. Yeah, that looks fine. <clears throat> There's a slight question of how anyone ever, or how would anyone would ever operate that though, because they can't really stand behind. It. I should probably put it there instead. Does that look better? Oh, that's a bit too forward though. I don't really like it there. What about the back? Looks better, even if it's impractical, and no one would ever be able to use it. Perfect. Twenty mils. Oh, awesome! Right now we need some twenty millimeter ammunition. Do these use the same ammo? They do not. Where's my universal ammo box at then? There it is. Have to be careful with these because they explode. Hey, see, I had to put in actually exploding stuff, didn't he? There you go, 20 by 102, is that it? Yeah, it is. Um, I mean, it's a bit bigger. Uh, no, I don't. Still. If something gets this far into the tank, I'm sure we've got bigger problems than exploding ammunition. This thing's just packed full of it anyway. That should be more than enough, surely. We'll just put a bit more in. <laughs> Should be more than enough, surely, he says, as he stacks a ton more ammunition in. No, that is enough. That is enough ammunition, Billy. That is enough. Stop stacking in ammunition. Ah, oh, I can get another box in here, though. I just want more ammo. I never want to run out. Beer, do you have a problem? Not half of which is the fact that you're talking to yourself. Well, I mean, I guess I'm talking to the stream, aren't I? So. <laughs> Weapon manager. This side. Actually, I actually don't want to attach it to the command module, attach it to the root part. Let's not be silly. Right, that, and we need a burn together module in case we ever drive more than one of these. Well, no, I guess we can drive it with other tanks as well. That was fine. And then, last, not least, actually, I don't think this needs an air park module. I'm not going to put an air park module on it because now air park's quite glitchy and redundant because they sort of solved the explodey on launch thing in 1.2.2, so we don't really use it anymore. I don't think there's anything else I really need. Don't really want an air pod module on it. Just glitches the game out. Yeah. Let's sort out the action groups and let's take this for a spin. I always have that fire missile, even though there's no any missiles. Uh, next weapon. Briefs weapon. This is start fuel cell. Not toggle fuel cell because I never really want to turn the engine off. So um, yeah, it's just. You know, it's easier just to spam. When I spawn in each vehicle, just spam four a few times. So I'm, I'm definitely certain that the engines are on. Just easier. Uh, six is... 
uh, set as leader. Seven is set as follower. And abort is off. Perfect. I need to fix that on my Nineas, actually. Alright. Mouse in the house. Should we go spin? Go spin? Go test it. Give it a spin. That's what I meant to say. Let's go. Uh, we have to put some crew in it. Uh, Razy Kerman. I like your name. Let's go for it. Razy Kerman. Yeah, clear the runway of the Ninia. Let's test it. And now we wait for it to load. And while we wait for it to load, I am going to go get myself a drink. I will be back. Oh, it's already loaded. Never mind. And it spawned inside the ground. And I forgot to use auto strut. Yep, that needs some auto strutting. Very badly. Very, very badly. Grandparent part. Yep, let's do that. Even though it's grandparent part, is it's root part, but it doesn't seem to be connecting, so. Let's do grandparent part. It's just safest. Means I know that's working. I love water strut. Saves me a lot of effort of actually strutting things. we're done. We're there anyway. I want to struggle the insides too. Never be too careful. Stops things jittering which is always very annoying. Just to straight everything. Easiest. Nobody likes jittering. And that is everything. Right, now let's give it a spin, shall we? Avino, I feel like I'm the only mod. Can I request some assistance? There you go. Voldov's now a moderator. Voldov, give Avino some help. There you go. Happy now, Avino? You got Voldov. Who likewise had a battleship named after him. Whoa! Hello. That looks like it works. Why is it spawning in the ground? That is thoroughly confusing. I keep breaking it. Uh, why? Did you keep spawning in the ground? It's a bit of a pain to grab the root part. Alright. Uh, that's actually put it near the ground like this. Save it. You can't go dibs on being a moderator. For God's sake. There you go. Move it out of the ground. That might help a bit. Press 4, activate the engines, then we'll place it back down. No, hello. We just broke the runway. Why, why is it... Um... Did I leave on like really high gravity? 
because that's testing things with that. No. What is the problem with this tank? Uh, I don't know. We will uh, we'll try that again. Oh, I need to put on ignore max temperature. That'll be it. Right, let's try it again. It does have awesome suspension. I'll give it that. Oh, I need to revert to bloody space planning. Yeah. Oh, people are making hands references. I do have a good reference. Shush, I don't want to hear your logical comments. Um, yeah, I was considering ending the uh, Panzer Corps series, actually, from favour of um, another Hearts of Iron 4 series, but then I had a bunch of people go, No! We actually enjoy Panzer Corps. To my surprise. Um, why is it wobbling? What is it doing? Is it the treads? Well, that just broke the universe. Um, sure. Yes, I love it when the mouse breaks the bloody universe. Uh, that's fine. This is all fine. Maybe it's because they're all strutted to the brute part. Maybe they should be strutted to the heaviest part. Which is the wheels. That would make more sense. Let's do that. Let's try everything to the wheels, because the wheels are the ones oscillating. And strut the wheels to the root part. That should hopefully solve our problems. Hopefully. Did I strut the wheels? Oh, I didn't. That might be the reason. That will be the reason. Let's try that. I didn't strut the wheels. So they were just not remotely strutted. That should hopefully fix that. I mean, it flips over, but yeah, that has fixed that. It was the wheels not being strutted, I think. Oh, no, it's it has a mind of its own. It is flying. What is What is the problem? Why is it spinning? I have no idea what it is doing. <laughs> it wants to be free. Look how happy it is. Oh, it's frolicking. <laughs> yes, only my channel can make a super heavy tank. A super heavy Nazi tank frolic in the snow. It's making a snow angel. Oh. Doesn't like making snow angels. Fly tank. Be free. Oh, now it's stopped. Has it? No, it hasn't. It's still going. You finished? I think it might be finished now. I can see like, what it is that's causing it to... To, <laughs> to be so happy. It's just the treads. What are they doing? Maybe it's the weight. Might be the weight of the tank. It's just it's just springing all over the place. So let's just just destroy the suspension. Like that. It doesn't have springs anymore. Let's try that. So yeah, I think it's because we scaled it up and it had normal spring power. So that just made the spring and the suspension insanely powerful. Yep, that fixed it. Somewhat. You gonna you gonna behave, tank? No, it does not want to behave. Hello. Maybe we need to mess with these this this treads a bit more. Um if I can click on them. There we go. Damp ratio down. Nope. Still doesn't like it. If we put it up, that makes it spin faster. That's bad. If it's on brakes on, nope. It still wants to frolic. Hmm. 
turn the friction down. Might be a good idea. <laughs> Take this on the stream and sees this. Yeah. But not be good. Uh, anti roll, don't know what that does. Invert motor, no. Motor lock. Tank steer, invert. Tank steer lock. Half track, don't know what that does. What's that do? No idea. Gear ratio. Eh. Hmm. Why is it so happy when it goes out? Maybe it is just because the treads are so massive. It, uh,. It wants to be a helicopter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is it doing? Stop being so happy. <laughs> You're a machine of war. What is it doing? Maybe it's just because the treads are so huge. But I don't want to use multiple treads. That'll look horrendous. These treads actually look really good. Let's try half track, see what that does. Did that fix it? That does not fix it. I'm going to push all the buttons. That did nothing. Damp ratio up. That broke the wrong way. It still wants to frolic. Um, <laughs> this is an interesting problem to have with the tank, that it wants to fly and be a helicopter. Hmm. The slightest bit of wheel stress and it just flies. Um... Um <laughs> uh, um this is uh, interesting. Should we try the main gun just for giggles? Try the main gun, shall we? See how it works. Oh, scared. Is this going to settle down yet? Nope. Nope. That's made it more misbehaving. Oh, look at the size of that round. Well, the main gun works. That's a good thing. Even our 20 mil works. Oh, when the turret turns, though, it looks a bit glitchy. Yeah, that's alright, though. Doesn't matter. Uh, turn the throttle off. No, just try that. Is it the center of mass? I'll have a look. Maybe it's just too heavy. No, center of mass is pretty much slap bang in the middle. Uh, so why it would be dancing on the front, I don't know. Let's just remove the treads. Let's just make sure it is actually the treads. So first of all, actually, I need to change the weapon manager settings anyway. This would be team B, firing interval of one, visual range, guns range, five kilometers as well. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Right. So we'll save it, and then we'll remove the treads. And we'll just make sure it is the treads that are breaking it. The mouse identifies as an Apache attack helicopter. Check if it wants to be a boat, the world's smallest battleship. Yes, yeah, the treads. Nothing else, nothing wrong with the rest of this thing. Um, should we test the main cannon on a uh, fuel tank? Yeah. Oh, it's testing it against the VAB. 128 millimeter cannon. Here we go. You guys ready? Oh, didn't didn't destroy it. I am uh, I'm disappointed. Zero out of ten. Didn't destroy the VAB. If we had two of them, they would. I don't know. Pretty much anything can destroy fuel tanks. 
Come on, let's go again, let's go again. Nah, I can't do the VAB. That's a shame. Okay. Well, what we're going to have to do, I think, is put on two smaller tracks. Uh, I think when you scale up the treads, it glitches out a bit. Which is a shame. But that's what we're going to have to do. Should we use these tracks? Oh, no, I don't use those tracks. Medium tracks? No, I'll use the inverting track. We'll just use two of these, I think. I can find the root part. There, where is it? Uh, there you are. Oh. This is really trippy. There we go, got it. We will have to scale these up a bit. That's unavoidable. But hopefully not too much. Damn it, the old tracks look so good. That is so annoying. Mm, I don't think these tracks are going to work. Maybe these would. I think they would. Those tracks aren't going to work. These tracks, I think, will work. We'll try attaching these. Cool. They're a bit big at the moment, but... Alright, let's scale them down a bit. And... Move them in a bit. Hmm, they're still a bit large, aren't they? Oh, now they're too small. Let's try that. That's looking better. Ooh. We even get a bit of cover for... Ah, uh, that looks abysmal. <laughs> we don't want them going a bit further out like this, so... Aha! Now that looks alright. Nothing looks as good as the old ones. God damn it. The old ones were so good. We'll try that. We'll see if that fixes the bouncing problem. That does not fix the bouncing problem. Remotely. It was just scaling any of these treads up. We scaled these down though. These aren't scaled up. These are scaled down. So maybe it's because they're clipping? Let's try that. It's because they're clipping into the ta- I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. But... Let's just remove a bunch of this stuff. I've saved it, so it's fine. You can put it all back. Remove the clipping stuff. Let's try that. Definitely do not press save. Voldov, yeah, just uh, silence the people who spam. Don't worry about it. That still hasn't fixed anything. Why is it being so weird? What is going on? Does it even work as treads? No. Let's actually like properly try unclipping them with the rest of the um Rest of the tank. Let's make sure they're really like not touching anything. At the moment, the tops of them are. 
Let's just do that. Let's do that. Let's see if that fixes it. Nah, I don't delete messages with swearing. Nothing wrong with a bit of friendly swearing. Just not annoying. Oh, that fixed it. So it was the clipping. I think it must have been the clipping with the sides. Right, that's the problem then. So it's not with the scaling up, it's with the... Um... How would turning the command pod fix the treads? No. Where is it? Oh, it's the LF7, isn't it? Or the PT7. There it is. Right. Let's try this. Duh, I don't want to do that. There we go. I want to do that. Let's see if that fixes our problems. Whoop. I'm not so sure it did. Did it? Maybe that was just the way it spawned. Let's try. Put the brakes on. Put it down. Duh. No, that did not. Wait, let's try. It. That springs were already off. Hmm. It's not still clipping, is it? Maybe the colliders are just about clipping. I don't know. This is very strange. Don't know why this is happening. Let's try that. <sighs> it is the treads that are the problem, but... Why do you want to be free, mouse? This is thoroughly annoying. It's all reading zero. Maximum safe load is 417 tons. How much is this weigh? It wouldn't be 417 tons, would it? No, it's only 100 tons. So... Should be alright. But it's not. Attach the treads to the outside arm panel, see if it made the treads hate the move tool. Not a bad idea. Let's try that. Let's just do that. Oh! Oh, that does fix it! Ha! Ah, that game's afoot! Maybe it does hate the move tool. Maybe it's just being attached to the uh, main part. That should be attached to the uh, heaviest part. <coughs> Right. Let's um try just moving it back in. Let's 
Try that. Um, see if moving it. Oh, that fixed it. So it was being attached to the root part that broke it. That is odd. That is very odd. Um, but there you go. It now works. Can I put the spring ratio back up to? Actually, I still don't want it that high, do I? Don't want this to have like particularly good suspension. Oh, it's nice and slow. Right. Well, let's attach it to. Um. That ah, wrong. Wrong thing. <clears throat> Let's attach them to something that's actually not a piece of armor to get destroyed. Let's try attaching it to the thing that's attached to the um, the root part. That thing. Let's see if that works. Don't know if it will. Probably won't. And that looks all right. Okay. Let's try saving that. And let's go for that. Oh, God's sake. There we go. Razy Kerman, I like your name. People keep saying oh, it's got an E100 turret. Um, has it? Looking at the turret. Yeah, it's not quite long enough really, is it? Ah, that breaks it again. So we've got to we've got to attach it to the outside. That's really weird. Doesn't like being attached to the root parts. I also have to take the risk that the wheel that the tread's tra gonna get blown off. Otherwise, this just tank just won't work. So that's all right. We'll just attach it to the sides. These are big armor panels anyway. So yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to tell myself it'll be fine, but <laughs> I'm not so sure it will be. Try that. See if it works. Yeah, I mean the only concern I had about attaching to the outside is that if this panel gets blown off, then the wheels go as well. But uh, honestly, these are massive, heavy armor panels, so yeah, and it's on the side of the tank, so really it should be fine. Right, there we go. That's for the engines. Do we generate enough power? The engines do not appear to generate enough power. We need more engines. These are power hungry treads, jeez. Power consumption goes down though. Oh, now it's going back up. I think we do have a big enough engine for our needs anyway. Oh god, this thing can go pretty damn fast. Whoa! Note to self, do not do airs in a mouse. Not a good idea.
Yeah, eat lead. Okay, let's, let's actually test this thing. Ah! <laughs> oh, I like this tank. I like it already. We really do need to move the 20 mil though, so it's actually over the top. Well, the part where the uh, thing rotates, so it won't look so silly. Yeah, otherwise it clips out when we move this round. <coughs> but no, this is actually not a bad tank. I was going to say bad little tank, but it's not a little tank at all. I think it does need some more engines. Needs more engines, need to move the... Um, Move the 20 mil. What's the exact point over which it rotates? Is it there? I think it is. In the middle of this circle, which is... Oh, no, it is pretty much there. So that's fine. Let's put it there. There you go. I don't think it look as good there. But it will look good when... Well, look better when the turret turns. So that's fine. Let's put another row of engines in. That should hopefully solve that problem. Then we will add it to the action groups. Not that one, not that one. Wait, what? Wait, it's oh, because we copied and pasted it. It's already in the action groups. Okay, that's convenient. Right, let's try that. Mouse turrets don't swivel. What are you on about? Of course they do. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be a turret if it didn't swivel, would it? Right, let's have a electric charge. Nope, that that copes quite well. Yeah, extra engines, job uh, job salt, job done. We've got our super heavy armor panels at the front, and the rest are simply heavy armor panels. I like this. Who wants to test it against another tank? Everyone. So a brake pad. Yeah, brakes are pretty powerful. All right, it's quite. It's a hundred ton tank. So to be fair, <laughs> you know. Right. Let's uh, spawn in our current heaviest tank. Five B Adder. Hello. Let's, uh, this has just got heavy armor at the front, and not super heavy. Right, first of all, let's test the uh, super heavy armor. If this goes through the super heavy armor, I might have to adjust the super heavy armor, because that would be uh, bad. Right, let's try. Oh my god, that did nothing. <laughs> That's a high velocity 75mm gun, and it just did nothing. Okay, let's try again. Oh! Caused an explosion. I wonder what that did. What? Did that go through? Seems to have. How'd that get through? Huh. So I just went straight through the super heavy armor. That's not, not on. Um, I need to turn this off, I guess. And the whole thing explode. Well, that's disappointing. Don't know how that happened. Yeah. It's a powerful gun, I guess. Yeah. Oh, now everyone's dead. Ah, oh, let's revert to launch. Well, it didn't, it didn't break the armor, but somehow it just, um... Oh, maybe it just glitched out because it had the heating thing on. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's try that again. First of all, let's see what this does to a uh, to one of our conventional tanks. Uh, 
Right, conventional tank. Um, hello, my name is uh, 128 millimeter. Um... Oh, look, it swivels around the 20 mil now. That looks so much better. Yeah, 20 mil doesn't move. That's great. Well, it should move with the turret, but it looks a damn sight better than it did. So that's good. Right. Well, that just utterly massacred that. <laughs> I aimed to the left panel, so it just went straight through the left panel and just took an entire track off. Should we finish it off? I think it'd be rude not to. Ah, still alive though. I mean, I did spend a long time testing this tank, so... If it couldn't take a few hits, I would be um, worried. Let's try again. Yeah, I finished it. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Yes, I think it might be fair to say that's quite a powerful gun. Um... There's literally not a single thing left of that tank. Right. Oh, watch this. Here we go. We're going to test uh, a Ninia against it. Not just the uh, front of it, because of course I want... Oh, for God's sake. I forgot. When you spawn in tanks, you have to turn on um, ignore max temperature. That's just a um, bit of a quirk with them. Let's remember to obviously turn it off again. But yeah, I'm going to be spawning in another one. Uh, SM15. Uh, close the cheats menu. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so that's a bit of a quick. Ah, no, I did. I think I spawned it a million miles away. Whoops. Uh, let's revert flight to launch. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's spawn in the SM15 and test this armor out a bit. And then we'll test it against some bombs, and then we'll call it a night. I think. Can you swear in chat? Well, I'm saying you can. If it's any a light bit of profanity, something I swear. So go for it. Mods, don't be so harsh. Just spamming. You should be guarding against really this isn't a Nazi regime well <laughs> no I'm kidding nothing nothing something probably a fuel tank that bounced completely oh hello I spun the tank out it's going too fast mm, probably an engine or something Let's keep firing This is a 57mm gun. It's heating up a bit. Uh, this is looking remarkably undamageable. Yeah! Yep, this is, um, this is fine. <laughs> I think this is having the desired effect. I think this armor might work. Holy crap. Oh, ignore max temperatures on. <laughs> I forgot about that. 
Um, yeah, <laughs> that might not have been quite as successful as, as I thought. What the hell? Oh, I loaded a quick save. Oh! My quick save was me testing a V2, apparently. Do you guys want to see a V2 being tested against <laughs> against Rocktail? <laughs> I thought I made a quick save. Cluster V2! Okay, there you go. That was that was my quick save, apparently. Um, back, back to Space Center. Um, yeah, sorry. I didn't make a quick save. I just I automatically pressed a quick save. My last quick save was uh, testing a V2 against Rocktail. <laughs> Um, that was a bit strange. Right, let's uh, let's do it this time. But oh, hello, the, the the whole thing's under uh, water. That's a scatter or a glitch. Right, let's do it this time with um, ignore crash, ignore temperature. Uh, actually, off. Where is it? LF seven. There we go. We did shoot it a lot of times, though, to be fair. We didn't get through its armor, though, so I'm not sure why the internals are heating up. They shouldn't have been. But uh, we'll test it now. SM15. There we are. Right, now let's test it properly. <clears throat> That's not encouraging. What just exploded? Entire fuel tank. Oh. It's not getting through the armor, but the stuff inside is getting damaged. Explain you to overheating? Yeah, they are. Hmm. That is awkward. The armor's fine. Hmm. I think this only happens at super close range, though. That's the thing. In testing, this this doesn't really happen in actual battles. If they can't get through the armor, usually you're all right. But I mean, this thing is still perfectly capable of shooting this. If ah, oh, gun depression makes you depressed. There we are. Oh. Oh, we just somehow skipped right underneath the Crusader. Come on, let's try again. Let's actually hit it this time. There we go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it wouldn't get that many shots in anyway, because it would, you know, be uh, dead. Hmm. Maybe we just don't need to put the fuel tank so close to the uh, the armor. They are quite close to the armor, to be fair. Yeah. The new. The new. Let's do a proper test with it. Let's do a proper test now. So what we're gonna do. Let's put it over here on a ridge. There we are. Put one of these. Perfect. Lined up just perfectly. Actually, I want to move it down a bit so its gun depression is a bit better. So it can actually shoot things. A bit, yeah, a bit better. There we go. Right, save that there. Perfect. Right, and now, uh, what should we attack with, with first? You know, it's like to go up against big tanks. You know, we'll do three of these. No, actually, you can't launch three of these. Two of these. Two heavy tanks. 
3.2 kilometers, that's a good good distance. Uh, rotate it around. Put the engine on. There we are. Garbo it on. Here we go. So I think two of these will be a fair test for it. If it can beat these two, then I think we'll be fine. If not, then we just won't use it. If it's a better idea to have um, just more adders um, to break through tapes defences, and we don't actually need to use the mouse, then we won't use the mouse. But you know, we'll have it as an option. That's really what this is about. In case tape does launch a super heavy tank, we want to have the option of being able to uh, counter it. Right, make sure the engine's on on this one. And looks like we are all ready. Let's get moving first. And then, here we are. Fire when ready. We'll spread ourselves out a little bit. Okay, looks like one hit, but bounced. Make sure we've got the cheats off. We do. Is it going to fire? What are you doing? The guard mode's on. Oh, it is firing. What am I on about? Oh, the gun elevation isn't high enough. Oh, that was a painful hit. What did it kill? Everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Something tells me our armor system isn't isn't 100%. For some reason, this just died immediately. Um. Hmm. BD Armory, you have failed me. You have truly failed me um oh, maybe did i forget to put the bd armor on oh forgot about it. bd armor on the super heavy panels i don't think i did these are those are powerful 75 mils though they're not destroying the armor that's the thing they shouldn't be able to damage the internals but they are i'm going to check that i actually did it properly let me uh, check my tank mod, super heavy armor panel. Did I put BD armor on it? I did. I did, yeah. Things it should conduct heat from the rest of the parts. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the uh, armor system a bit. Maybe it needs a bit tweaking. I don't know. Because it's damaging the internals when it shouldn't be. Yeah, I mean. If I get this. To, oh, the elevation on this is not good at all. This is a horrendous gun, a horrendous turret. There we go, horrendous. The elevation and the depression. Oh God, sake! The elevation and the uh, depression is very poor. Let's try and hit one of them. How close do we get? Oh, that was close. Actually, let's try this properly. Let's uh, get the. Let's see how accurate this is at long range. This gun. Uh. There we go. Fire. Ooh, close but not close enough. Fire again. Once it's reloaded, which takes a while. Did that hit it? I'm not sure it did. I think it hit the ground in front of it. Fire again. Yeah, you see, this gun is, is not... Maybe not so good. Maybe this is just a completely pointless. <laughs> I don't think this is a particularly effective tank. 
I did hit it. Definitely hit it. Yeah, it did. Glance the turret. Thing is, if the armor can't even stop it, you know, if we've got guns that can actually damage it, they're even more accurate and they fire f faster. What's the point in having massive guns like that? Look. Hit. Fire again. Hit. Why do they keep bouncing? Stop bouncing. Oh, the armor system works now. Great. <laughs> We're going to try this again now. Now we're going to we're going to get the gun into a place where it can actually shoot my tanks. I think there may have just been a glitch. I think it's when tanks are oh God's sake <laughs> I keep forgetting this. When tanks are too close to one another, like if you're like within like really close, then that's when you get the the heating glitches perhaps. Maybe it's just the vehicle you're focused on that has the heating glitches. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's try this now. Let's first of all turn off the guard mode and make sure the gun can actually hit them. Yes, it can. It can hit them uh, until they're relatively close. So that's fine. Guard mode back on. Quick save. Uh, lead tank. Follow tank. Close this. Set off. Go. Okay, it made some bit of return fire. It wasn't particularly effective. But. Okay, now things are bouncing off it. Look at that! Now it's working. Let's see if these two tanks can actually close the distance and kill it. Oh, that's some explosions. Is it still fighting there? Still got the weapon manager. Its shots haven't been too accurate. That's a thing. It's stationary and we're moving. I'm not sure if that's so fair. Oh, Jesus! Christ. Um, well, that just went through. Like, the... Wow. That literally just cut straight through the top and right out the back. Yikes. Um, we just bounced 120... Wow. Um... Hmm, maybe this tank isn't so useful. U useful? Useless. Is it still firing at us? I don't know if it is. Oh no, it almost it most certainly is. We're about to lose the tread. We lost the tread. We're immobilized. Uh let's deactivate that. Okay, I Release. Keep closing. Keep closing the distance. Come on, tanks. Wow, it's actually going quite well. Well, no, it's quite dramatic, but... Ah, come on. Forwards. Oh, I don't think that tank is long for this world. Oh, they missed. Okay, right. Let's keep going. Keep in mind, this is super heavy. This is super heavy. This is heavy armor that these things have, and they just cut through it like butter. Um, we're firing high velocity 75mm rounds at something with super heavy armor. Uh, oh, it's firing this one now. Ooh, that was a near miss. Is this one knocked out yet? Oh, yeah, this is dead. This is super dead. You want to do this change fire? Okay, so this time it's putting up a hell of a lot more of a fight. Ooh, near misses, near misses. We can get in quite a lot more shots, but we're just not getting through its frontal armor. Try angling ours. Um, whoa, hello. Turn this guard mode off so he's not a threat. <laughs> Look, it's just bouncing! I don't know if it can get us anymore. I don't think its gun depression is good enough. We've got to climb up this hill now. 
a bit of an effort. I think we can get through heavy armor with this, so if we can flank around it, we'll be alright. Here we go. Alright, we'll climb up around this way. How much cannon how many cannon shells do we carry on this thing? Oh quite a few. Why is why do we have mono propellant in this tank? That's a bit strange. Alright, here we go. We're gonna outflank it now. Here we go, guys. Tank battle. I love tank battles. Especially now we have treads and proper guns and everything. It's so much fun. Right, here we go. We're out flanking it. Stop firing. Idiot. Can't shoot it. Still trying to shoot it through the ground. Right, let's try and sneak up on it. Very sneaky. Whoa. Shot across the bow. Is that turret turning around? Not quite. You got a good shot now, mate. Fire. Oh, it's opened up with a 20 mil. At really close range. Duh, Jesus. Um. Um. Mistakes may have been made here. Can we fire? Can we, can we fire, please? Ah. Uh. Oh, we can fire. The guard mode just simply wasn't doing it. Um. Yeah, that 20 mil is actually very... That was a very good idea putting out there. It stops you outflanking it. Big time. Have we killed it? We should be able to get through heavy armor with this gun. Maybe not all the time. Uh, did we kill it? Oh, we did. Oh, it killed the crew. Oh, there you go. Job done. Um... I think we're about to lose our, our crew though. Are you about to overheat and die? Are you bleeding out? Yep! <laughs> our crew bled out. Well, um. Yeah. So we managed to kill it by outflanking it. Um, but it also managed to murder our, our tank commander by making him bleed out. So actually, this mouse is actually quite good. And the thing is, if tape deploys something like this, um, we'd have problems. Actually, you know, I want to turn it around. I want to see how good this thing is on the offensive. Okay, so one of these against two of those guys, but this time the mouse is moving. Ah, uh, I keep forgetting that. Each time you load in with the with the armor, you have to turn on ignore max temperature. Did I did I put that in my readme on the uh, in the mod pack? I hope I did. Let me check. Uh, full cabin mod pack. Readme. Please tell me I put it in there. Oh, I didn't. Crap. Yeah, you have to do it. I should have put it in the readme. My bad. Bad practice. Need to put these things in the readmes. Or fail. Right. Let's get this thing moving first. Okie dokie. Yeah, we are moving. We get into the flat ground so that we can actually shoot them because the gun elevation on this thing is not very impressive. Whoa! Hello. Do a barrel roll, mouse. Um, I, mean, I prefer you didn't, but that's fine. What did we kill? Oh, it's a fuel tank. This just screwed a bit of our heavy armor. Uh, well, that's a weakness of this thing. It's a little too narrow, so let's just be careful not to flip it in the future. Right. There we go. Okay. Right. We're moving again. Oh, that was a wasted shot. Well, that didn't get very far, did it? 
Ah. Hmm. Maybe it's not so good on the offensive. Just on the defensive. Yeah. Well, it's a semi-successful mouse, yeah. Um, it's got a surprising amount of speed to it. I'll give it that. These guys aren't going to stop shooting it. There we go. Oh, they're still not going to stop shooting it. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it sort of works, doesn't it? <laughs> sort of. But there you go, everyone. We've built a mouse. It sort of works. Ish. Um, and we can, with the points we've used, we can launch a Ninia with it as well to accompany it. I guess prevent it being outflanked, which is quite useful. On its own, I don't think this is going to be a particularly um, good tank. But with support, I think it could be quite quite effective. So, strut the fuel tank. The fuel tank is strutted. You need me to prove it to you. There. Strutted. So there's the other one. They all strutted. Why you put more crew capsules in the tank? Um, yeah. That's just the way you tape and I do things. Just put one in there. You, usually, if you get through the armor, you destroy one. You destroy most of the internals, to be fair. So it, there's not real much point putting multiple crew capsules in. Anyway, there we go. Uh, we have a mouse. So hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Uh, hasn't been the most successful stream of all time. The Yamato stream is far more successful. But uh, I hope you're looking forward to Fall Curb in episode 23. Should hopefully be up tomorrow. But if not, then day after tomorrow, almost certainly. Thank you for watching this stream, everyone. Do hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.